Uh, all right, everybody, so now we're going to take a look at the second physical characteristic of soil, uh, pore space, uh, or porosity. Porosity refers to basically the amount of space that's in between each particle of soil. Uh, generally speaking, the larger the particle, the less pore space there is in between each one because of uh, decreased surface area. So with a really small particle like clay, there's going to be a lot of pore space. Um, and uh, it may seem obvious, but the more pore space, the higher the porosity of a soil, the more water it can fit inside the soil itself. So uh, how we're going to test this is I've got three different uh, substrates, so to speak. I've got these rocks, uh, kind of like gravel almost, it's probably actually a bit uh, larger or coarser than gravel. I've got some very fine sand, and I've also just got some potting soil. Um, I would use clay, uh, but as I'll explain in a bit, uh, clay is really, well, first of all, clay is really messy, but it would also take a really, really long time for this to work with clay. Uh, and I've also got uh, water pre-measured out in, in 100 milliliter uh, values. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a uh, 250 milliliter graduated cylinder, and I'm going to fill it with about 50 milliliters of the substrate, and then I'm going to pour in about 100 milliliters of water. Now, in theory, if the pore space was zero, if there was no space in between the pores, if this was a complete solid, right, the 50 milliliters of the substrate and the 100 milliliters of the water would add up to 150 milliliters total. Right? But there's space in between each particle in here. So water is going to seep into it and fill up some of that space. So it's going to be somewhat less than 150 milliliters, uh, and that difference is going to tell us something about the pore space. Uh, so I'm going to start with the gravel, because that's, uh, that's the easiest or rocks, I guess. Um, and forgive me, this might be a bit loud. We'll see. Okay, so as you can see, it's more or less right about the 50 milliliter mark, right? Um, this is, is not super exact in terms of measurement, um, but it will give us a uh, relative estimate, and it's also um, just as important to understand the difference be or the, the, what porosity is all about. Uh, so don't worry if, if it's a little bit over the line or something like that. So now I'm going to take my 150 milliliters of water, and I'm going to dump that in with the rocks. Okay and take a look at what we've got. Go ahead and record that measurement. Right? As you can see, there's a difference. Right? In theory, it should be up to here, 150 mils, but there's pore space. You can, <laughs> hey, you can actually see there's a little bubble there. See it? If I shake it up, that bubble's going to pop and get filled with water, and it might, well, it didn't really drop the value at all. But uh, so water is filling up the pore space, um, and so it's actually going to be less than the, the total volume because there's air space, air pockets in between each particle. Uh, okay, let's do the next one. Now I'm going to do sand. This is like a really, really fine sand. Uh, and we're looking at 50 mils of sand. This is very relaxing. It's like making one of those rain sticks. Uh, okay, so you can see I've got about 50 mils of sand, more or less. I'm going to do the same thing I did last time with the rocks. I'm going to dump in 100 mils of water. Whoa! Very cool. This is science. Alrighty. Take a look. We got some a lot of air bubbles in the bottom. You can see there's like an air bubble there, so I kind of want to shake this up a little bit. I'm gonna get something to poke through to the bottom because the air bubbles are gonna throw off the reading. <clears throat> okay. Not quite long enough but I think I will get the job done. I'm just popping the air bubbles that are underneath 
the sand. The water hasn't penetrated quite all the way through to the bottom of the beaker, or the bottom of the cylinder, I should say. Okay, that should do it. Mm. All right, <laughs> and take a look. Right, you can see that uh, the water at this point has penetrated almost all the way through the sand. So uh, you can do some math, figure out the pore space availability of sand. All right, last one I'm gonna do is just regular old potting soil. Literally just got this out of a bag of potting soil. Um, this is what you grow your plants in if, you're, if you've got plants around the house or you've got a garden or something. So I'm gonna fill this up, 50 mils. Um, Big old clump of soil in there. We don't want too big of a clump. No one likes a clump, folks. Keep that in mind. Life lesson for you. Uh, let's see. We're close. Maybe about 45. A little bit more. A little bit more. Wow. It just keeps. That should do it. So I got about 50 milliliters of soil in here. Okay. Um, and I've got 100 mils of water that I'm going to dump in, just like the last two. Wow. Oh, did you see that? Very cool. Alrighty, so um, take a look at that reading. Where does the water level reach? Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, under perfect circumstances, I would also do this with clay. Um, clay is the smallest size particle and therefore has the highest pore space. Um, but it also has a uh, very low permeability. So, although clay has a lot of spaces in between each clay particle, it takes a very long time for water to seep through clay. And you might have an intuitive understanding of that. Um, what that means is if I were to do this test and manage to actually get 50 milliliters of clay in here somehow, it would take me forever just to jam it in there, um, and then clean it out, of course. If I even managed to do that and I dumped the water in, it would take a really long time for the water to seep into the pore spaces. Um, but what we would likely see is that clay has a very high porosity um, because it's very fine particles that have uh, lots of surface area and lots of pore space in between them. Um, so keep that in mind. I'm not going to actually do that because I don't have the time or patience for that. Okay, uh, now we'll move on to permeability.